First speaker is Mr. Alex Stein. Mrs. Stein, are you there? What about now? Yes, sir. Now we can see you. You're three okay. minutes in. Okay, sorry for the technical difficulties. Guys, I just want to say, I want to applaud the Parks and Rec Department. You guys did a great job. Uh, recently at Bachman Lake, there were some glory holes have been filled. So a lot of the transients at nights have been using the bathrooms less. But I want to say one of the most important things about the city of Dallas, we always think about Dealey Plaza. You know, that's one of the most famous parks. And it cultivated one of the biggest conspiracies in the world. But you guys don't forget about the king of all conspiracy. That's Alex Jones. This guy right here was actually born and raised in Dallas, Texas. And your parks are the actual parks that cultivated this mindset. This guy is the one that has woken us up to the transhumanist agenda. And he's the one that's going to tell us about the never ending boosters and the medical tyranny that we're currently experiencing. Now, the reason why I bring him up is because this is guy is the most banned guy in the world. Not allowed on YouTube, not allowed on Twitter. One of the most censored people in the world. But luckily, there are people, patriots, that are still fighting, that fight for his network. Like Owen Schroer, my man Owen Schroer, is at the network. He's an awesome guy. He uh, uh, represents truth. And then, you know, you can't forget about the man, the myth, the legend, Harrison Smith. So, guys, here at InfoWars, you're going to be able to find information about your own city, about the Parks and Rec Department that you cultivated. And you're going to be able to understand that, guys, it is not a joke that the New World Order, literally, we are being run by multinational corporations, Pfizer, that are subsidized, that will actually uh, ruin America's infrastructure in order to gain global dominance. And that's currently what's going on. They are destabilizing our country by immigrating so many citizens at the southern border. But all they want to do is talk about vaccines. So the reason why this is important, because of the parks, the places where a lot of the prostitutes go now, that the sexually oriented businesses are closed are going to be a, a cultivating ground for truth for freedom and that's why i want you guys to understand it is very important what you do it's almost some of the most important city management uh techniques that we have because these same parks these are the same slides that alex jones was sliding down when he was a little kid and now my children are going to slide down these same slides and that's all because of you guys so you guys are waking people up because cnn they're going to tell you oh you know wear a mask and uh, get your booster and that's going to protect you from the virus yet you can still get the virus even though you're vaccinated so what i'm saying is the mainstream media is going to lie to you and give you more conspiracies all all day long than Alex Jones ever will. But they can't admit that because these same mainstream media are subsidized by Pfizer, by these pharmaceutical companies. So you're never going to get the real information. And if you think the news tells you the truth, you are in a world of trouble, my friend, because George Orwell predicted this in 1984. They used 9-11 to uh, put in the Patriot Act 1.0 to turn us against Muslim terrorists. And now they're January 6th, they're using it to turn us against domestic terrorists, white people. So I'm saying they're coming after us. They're coming after all the people on this board. They want to make your life so terrible. So your life's so bad here on Earth that you plug into the metaverse. So you live in some sort of artificial simulation because life will be uh, hell on Earth, literally. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank Stein. You this time. Point of personal privilege, Mr. President, I'd like to speak. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Dickey. Just for the record, there are not now, nor have there ever been any glory holes in Bachman Lake Park. Just to yes. clarify that, thank you. Thank you, and I appreciate that clarification because, yes, that misinformation uh, should not be there. Thank you, Mr. Dickey, for mentioning that. I appreciate it. With that, our next public speaker, uh, uh, 